So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which I want to explain some differences between Heroku and DigitalOcean and obviously platforms similar to Heroku as well. Now you're going to see that Heroku actually offers you a lot of things out of the box, right? It allows you to deploy your applications instantly. You know, you get all these dynos, your databases, your continuous integration and development, and it also had, has paid plans and all that stuff. But uh, the important thing to remember here is that Heroku is an abstraction layer over the infrastructure, right? Now, Heroku manages its own infrastructure, that's clear. But what Heroku actually does is that if this is, uh, let's say, um, I don't know how do I put this. If Heroku, uh, if DigitalOcean is layer one, then Heroku is layer two, right? So what happens is that Heroku is a platform as a service. So you as an end user is using a platform for which you're paying. Infrastructure comes first, platform is built on top of infrastructure, and then your application is built on top of the platform, right? So Heroku actually provides you a platform to build your applications. So you get all those shiny and nice features out of the box with Heroku. And if you go to with paid plans, I would say you get a lot of other features as well. One thing you should remember is because Heroku provides you with so much convenience, it obviously has a, has a larger price than a similar solution running completely on DigitalOcean. Now that is obviously the case because Heroku manages the infrastructure for your for you, you know, Heroku manages the platform for you. So that has an additional cost, right? And it is absolutely fine for people who do not want to get into programming, you know, setting up own servers or load balancers, databases, stuff like that. But you as a developer, you as a person who wants to get into backend or maybe, you know, cloud engineering, this is something I think you should not get into um, at the very first. You should understand how the actual servers are working, how the actual things work under the hood, you know, the black and white stuff, how things really work on the server, how server responds to clients, how you can manage memory, how you can create Docker instances, containers, um, you know, even load balance instances yourself have a floating IP in, IPs in place, managing DNS, all that good stuff. You should know about that. It's platforms like Heroku abstract it for the good from you, but this is like not the best approach for a person who wants to get into um, backend development and, you know, just being a cloud engineer. So yeah, that, that for my two cents on Heroku and DigitalOcean, I won't get into pricing and that much because I, I've just I have already said pricing would be much larger for Heroku than DigitalOcean because it has convenience and you do not have to do a lot of coding and setup. And the products obviously Heroku outbeats DigitalOcean in that case because you know it offers so many solutions out of the box, auto scaling. Um, you know, just that is just one of the many. So yeah, that's that's basically it for this video. I'm gonna see you pretty soon in the next one.